Hi everyone, hope you're well. JC here. Swapped over into RC2. Um, so off camera, before I logged out yesterday, I quickly smelted all those iron. But that's all I did. So I'll quickly sort out this read. A couple of people saying I've missed a... Oh, that one there. Yeah, some people were saying that I'd broken one slot. Oh, two even. There's one there as well. Okay, so that's sorted. I think that is ready now, is it? Yeah. Okay, and we can quickly replant that. So, what we want to do is go outside and get some wood to make some more bookshelves. Uh, was there some reed in the... Did I just grab that when I logged in? I think I did. Okay. New door sound, very confusing. If you can hear those bird sounds, that's um, geese flying past or seagulls, I think, outside in real life. That's not um, that's not in the game. Um, that's weird. That must be lava, do you think? Okay. Saw a light in the distance over there. I think it must be lava. So, let's take down some trees. We might as well take down the trees close to base and then there there's less creeper nests on our doorstep just got an achievement there because of um, jar switching because my secret project's currently 1.8 although if the um, if this release candidate is completely stable now or stable enough then I might switch my server over finally or I only have to wait till Friday for the official release anyway, so I'll probably do it then. Okay, so there goes the um there goes the pickaxe. But never mind. I'll just grab as much wood as possible before the sun goes down. So get a watch out maybe. However, on the other hand, it's not very interesting to watch me knocking trees down, so maybe I'll just get a few and then go back inside. Like I was saying, um, it's very kind somebody worked out. Can we walk on lily pads now? Cool. I might collect a few of those, actually, just for future. You can build some funky-looking bridges with them. Now you can walk on them. Um... Someone kindly worked out exactly how many logs I needed for 30 bookshelves, but I don't think I'll be making them all at once because I'm just growing, growing the reed bit by bit. Some other people also saying I should grow the reed outside. I guess I could get a longer line right along the swamp here, but um, I also want to be able to quickly take them at night. Although I don't know. Maybe I should. I could, I could plant some out here as well. I guess would be the logical thing anyway because I just want as many as possible so actually let's take the ones from here and actually I do kind of want to keep two because I uh, keep three rather because I want to make another book however we've got three books actually one book isn't going to be any good on its own so scrap that, I will make some more. You can do a cool thing with reed lighting as well, can't you, if you light it up. I've forgotten how it works. I think that was it, it's just on the corners and then from a distance. But I've lit all this up as well, so it doesn't make much difference. So. so, we will make some bookshelves. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> Losing myself for a second there. 
So it's enough for one. So we'll store some stuff away. Um, probably don't need all the wood. Take 20 in case we need to make more torches or something. Again, don't think we will though, but you know, just in case. Um, okay, so let's go put this bookshelf down. And I'll test out my thing here. I'm not sure if anybody did comment on this, but does this... Now release three symbols. Oh yes, one from there, one from there, one from there-ish. So I think that's working. I'm sure if that's wrong, those people will tell me in the comments, but I think that seems to be okay. The one in the corner still still works, even though it's blocked in. I guess it's easier to program it that way than to not, so... Um, store this read. So, we shall make some armour. And um, we'll also enchant it. Let's see what we've got in here. Got, we still got two iron leggings in the chest as well. I'm actually going to put this in my inventory just to remind me. And we're also wearing some. So what I need immediately is a hat. And um, I guess it, that chest is new though actually, isn't it? That's a new one. So... So hat and legs is what we, hat and feet is what we need right now, and um, iron leggings. We also have one. The second those run out, so then we need sets to go with these iron leggings. So that'll be chest plate and hat. And feet. So that's another full set, and then seven's enough for another pair of legs. But of course, we're not going to do that. Um, we'll do another helmet, and then we'll store those last two. So um, that's a helmet, and um, and the iron. And another pair of iron trousers. So, um, okay, so let's see if we can enchant this armor. We've got six. I wonder if we if we do level one enchantments on all of them. Um, so you might as well just do it on the ones in here. Got three and five. Two and a three. I don't know, maybe I should just um, do a level six enchantment. Protection one. I guess that's good. Protection, I guess that's quite general. Can't actually swap them. It must think they're the same, even though they're obviously not. Um, okay, so we'll see how we do with that. And we've, we've got our f protection fire resistance now anyway so that might make a huge difference which we'll see when we get in there so we'll go kill some blazers let's save the potion for when we're right up in there And then if we get there, if we get over there in the next minute or so, the potion can also indicate the end of the episode. Um, that ghast is still there then. Oh. I say it's stuck though. Oh yeah, don't walk into that. Food, that's what seems to be missing. 
got some thread for now, so that seems okay. Do pigmen still drop pork chops? I don't particularly want to try finding out. I don't want to start a war just yet. So... So I'm thinking um, someone actually suggested and noticed that I was doing what they were suggesting anyway, um, which is quite a good idea, which is to build... Is that the other spawner out the window? There it is. Which is to build like a corridor, so it forces that the gas can't just like fly up and around, or if they do, um, they can't get at you. So you have to force them to kind of come into a corridor where you can hit them. So we still haven't taken the potion yet. We'll wait till they've spotted us. Is that sound? Did I hear something? Alright, so that's the end of this. There we go. Right, so let's take this potion. New sounds, it seems. Have it, is it working? Oh, it's working. Awesome. I've got a cool little Naruto symbols. <laughs> oh, really nice sound. Like, ding, ding. Is that for experience points in general, I think? I didn't pick up any blaze rods, yeah. I'll leave that slot empty and then maybe. So, am I taking any damage? I don't think I am. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I took a little bit there, so it must be a bit of a tiny bit of physical damage, but obviously um, not a lot. How amazing is that? Right. You'll run back and stick up some more um, cobble just while we're waiting for them to respawn. Got some more yet? No. thing is, I don't know if they ever... Do they always spawn within the fence? I think they do, because I always see them outside the fence as well, but do they just fly outside the fence after spawning? They, do, if they always spawn within the fence, then I can just build a wall around it and then... They seem to. Just if I completely enclose this, I don't want them spawning outside the enclosure and then not being able to get at them easily. Roof of a building there. See, that one seemed to just appear over there. Oh, they make musical sounds with the experience now, it's really cool. It's a nice one. Let's see if there's a blaze rod. I don't think there was. It doesn't actually matter. I keep on I'm actually fire resistant. I don't need to put it out. I kind of wanted to see if a blaze rod was there, um, but actually I could just run around in the flames, and if there's one there I'll pick it up. Still no rods? There's one. This one's smoking. and knock back we do have to keep on running after them it's weird because I think I sometimes I think I see a blaze rod drop and then there isn't one it's amongst the flames I don't know how's my potion four minutes left Um, 
How wide is this? One, two, is this three across? Yeah. This is cool, I can just really leisurely kill them. I just really have to keep an eye on that timer though. I should notice the second they start hurting me. Four blaze rods. I was going to like. I think you're absolutely guaranteed to make a profit on blaze rods. Obviously, we used two up. We used two up to make six potions. No, we used one up to make six potions. Yeah, so it's definitely worthwhile. There was a blaze wood pod dropped in that corner over there. Yeah, I think this is the only time we're going to have to do this. Which is almost a shame because it's actually really fun. Um, so yeah, so this is the purpose of the corridor, it forces them to come down to our level, because otherwise they can't attack us. So when the corridor is complete, it will be really useful. See that hardly hurt me at all. That was a ghast explosion as well. So. Oh, mind you, it's taking my armor out still, isn't it? Almost wonder if we should just take the armor off, but I don't know. Um, okay, I think I've run out, I've run out of cobble. So, so, I have to stay like this for the moment. I think we might be sorted anyway. Two minutes to go. There's two ghasts firing at us now. Oh, anyway. Where are the blazers? Where in the blazers are the blazers? Does the fence block? It does. That's cool. Is it like they can still see me through the fence, but it blocks their shots? I was about to jump over, forgetting that I can't fly. I feel so invincible. <laughs> I forget I can't fly. I'm not in creative. Like, this is survival mode. It's just, okay, we've got less than a minute. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can entice them into the corridor. 35 seconds. Pass one. Still no blades for us. They don't always drop. 20 seconds. Oh, there's one. 12 seconds. Okay, that'll do. Standing here for the moment, and um, that's run out. So we got nine blaze rods from that. Um, tempting to keep going off camera. You get the idea. Just, um, I think I might do that. I think I might keep on farming them off camera. You're not really missing much. You can see how. See how easy it is with a fire resistance potion on. Um, you're not really missing any action. There's a tiny chance I'm going to die. 
So I'll see you next time, hopefully, with a whole load of blaze rods.